John sees a book, a scroll, written on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And a cry goes out throughout the universe, is there anyone who's worthy to open the book? And there's this painful silence. It seems that no one's worthy. And, and John weeps much. And you know, this seems in our present day to be a kind of strange thing. The majority of people in the West don't really long after justice. We, we think that the, the big thing is mercy, you know. And so the idea that justice must be done, well, we just sort of pull back from that. But the Lord believes in justice, you know. He believes in setting things right. And when a, a family, they have their little girl torn away from them by some wicked man who abuses the child, and is there justice in this world? To put the man to death, is that justice? There's nothing you can do to get that little girl back. You know, I don't know how God is going to do it, but there's a day coming when God is going to fix everything. Everything's going to be set right. The books are going to be balanced. Every debt is going to be paid. There will be no outstanding account. He's going to fix it all. When you look at the year of the Jubilee, you know, there were some things that a man himself was supposed to fix. If he could fix it, he should fix it. There are some things that the kinsman redeemer had to fix. There were some things that only the year of Jubilee would fix. But it fixed them. You know, there are some problems, and we need to fix them. And there are some things that only the Lord can fix. And there are some things that only the rapture will fix. But it'll fix them. Probably the greatest promise in the Bible is this one. Heaven and earth may pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Not one jot or tittle will pass until they're all fulfilled. It's the greatest promise because it's the promise to keep all the other promises. It's, it's the seal. The Lord Jesus is called the Amen. All the promises of God in him are yea and Amen. He's the seal. He's the guarantee. He's the word of God. And so everything that has been spoken, every promise that has been made, he shall bring it to pass. The story is told of Hudson Taylor in the dark days of the Boxer Rebellion in China. How that at times he would lie on a mat on his dirt floor in his little hut and all he could say was, Lord, you promised. You promised. He didn't even say what the promise was. He just laid claim to the God of promise. That's one of his titles, the God of promise. And the God who makes his promises, keeps his promises. You can count on him. And so in this chapter, we have John weeping because it seems there's no one able to do it until suddenly... The cry goes out, Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah has prevailed to open the book. But when John looks, he sees a little lamb, a little lamb, as it were, freshly slain. And this is the one of God's choosing who will set things right at last. <laughs>